Nice one. Big round of applause. We can have our next comedian. Very funny. Up and coming in Dallas. Noah! Yeah, Dallas Comedy Club. It's Saturday night. Make some noise. I had a couple white claws. I'm going to get naked and fight somebody tonight. Probably, probably you, right here. These, these no, I'm just kidding. I actually met them earlier. They're very nice people. And they sold me some heroin, so that's good. Uh, they were the church group, but... Ah, shit! You guys told me not to tell anybody. I'm sorry. Damn it! I screwed it up. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry about that getting naked and fighting somebody thing. I, I had a 23 and me done recently, and I'm a Viking, brother! Uh, Turns out I'm a thousand percent white. So, I've just been exploring my culture a little bit. Probably not a good idea in hindsight, actually. Not a good idea. <laughs> no, I do look kind of like a Viking. I look like a Viking, but I look like a Viking that plundered a Dunkin' Donuts. Give me all your after Is that how a Viking sounds? I, don't know. I look. I totally look like I'll sell you drugs, but I might accept Twinkies as payment. Uh, it's uh. No, but you guys look like a nice, healthy audience. Nice, healthy crowd. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Uh, me, on the other hand, I got about two weeks to live. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the doctor diagnosed me with stage four, being a complete piece of shit. <laughs> so uh, it happened any moment now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I turned 38 this year, and um, a lot of things are changing for me. A lot of things. A lot of things. Uh, I realized my coping mechanisms are completely fucked. I'm going to give you a perfect example. Um, my ex fiance cheated on me with a married man, and she stole my car. Yeah, I had the, I had the same reaction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other day I sneezed three times in a row, and I was like, What is happening? <laughs> yeah, a little peek into my life. Uh, I searched for my biological father for 38 years, and uh, finally found him, and we were arranging a meeting for the first time. I was going to fill that eternal void in my heart, uh, and he passed away suddenly before I could meet him. There's no punchline, that's just something that really happened. And I was like, eh. <laughs> the other day Taco Bell didn't give me any Taco Bell hot sauce, and I was like, WHY DOES GOD HATE ME?! <laughs> so... It's at this point in the set that you guys can tell that I got a lot going on with me in life. Stand up comedy. I'm also a musician. I've uh, been a musician my whole life. And I actually ended up packing my drums and my clothes in my car at one point. I moved out to Hollywood, California. I got to sign a bunch of record deals. I toured all over the world. Uh, yeah, it worked out really nice for me. And um, recently I moved back to Texas from California. And I still have my California license plate in my car. So when I rolled back into town, some guy was like, We don't take too kindly to your can around these kinds of parts. I got out of the car and I was like, Dad, it's me! <laughs> that was a lie. Remember earlier when my dad died? He was like, yeah, I'm a total humble bastard. So that was, that was a lie for a joke's sake. I do that a lot. <laughs> now, one of the really, really cool things that I did when I was living out in Hollywood, uh, drove for Uber. Yeah. Uh, another really interesting thing I did when I was out in Hollywood, uh, lived in my car. So, those two things do not go well together, by the way. Um, especially when you're at a bar and you're trying to meet the ladies. Because they're always like, what do you do? And I'm just like, I work from home. Uh, I work for a technology company, self-employed. So, you gotta, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? No, Uber is the worst. You guys uh, take Uber rides? Uber riders in here? Okay. Yeah, uh, it's the worst. Um, this guy gave me a one-star rating, and his reason was, well, he was an okay driver, but the conversation could have been better. <laughs> you fucking asshole, you don't even own a car. What is happening? <laughs> I, <laughs> but no, I got it back. I realized you can rate your customers back, so I gave this guy a one-star rating. My reason? Well, he had a weird hat on. Just a dumb face. Uh, Uber did not like that at all, actually. So we got a big church group here, right? You guys have here to see Chuck? Yeah! Yeah. 
uh, I had a church couple that was getting in my Uber at one point. They were like a thousand years old. Um, they were farting dust as they got the car. And they couldn't figure out how to technology at all. They couldn't work the app. And I got into a slight argument with this guy. And I swear to God, this thousand-year-old man turns to me in the middle of this conversation. He goes, son, I've been using Uber my whole life. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I didn't realize you've been beta testing Uber since our next starting car. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys with this. Uh, you guys think you take Ubers. We've got a lot of Uber riders in here. Who's sitting in the front seat? Anybody here front seaters? Nobody wants to admit it. That's how I use that to identify the creeds. Oh, we got a creed back here. Yeah. This guy sat in the front seat in Santa Barbara, California. And uh, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh, that's not too big of a red flag. That's fine. He's in the front seat, sir. Uh, I should have seen it coming. Conversation took a weird turn. Uh, he's like, so what are you into? And I'm just like, well, I, I like music. I'm a musician. And he's like, oh yeah? Does it make you hard? <laughs> and I'm like, huh? And before I knew what was happening, my Uber passenger grabbed my wiener, everybody. True story. Yeah. Yeah, it got weird. And uh, the guy that looks like me, you probably would have think, you know, I'd probably just hammer smash his face or something. No. I kept driving. I made it to like a weird, awkward date. I was like, bro, what are you doing, man? Uh, has this worked before? Was I supposed to pull over? Are we just going to start blowing each other? Um, <laughs> but no, his response was, I, I'm sorry, I had a bad day. Uh, I've had a lot of bad days. Never once did I feel like grabbing a stranger's crotch was going to make me feel better about it. Uh, my, my joke is not a stress ball. So <laughs> Yeah. So, I, I reported him immediately. He got banned from Uber for life, and he's probably out there whacking off Lyft drivers somewhere. Uh, I'm going to go sign up for Lyft. All right, thank you. I'm Noah Sharp. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>